Scoliosis is a curvature of the spine from moderate to severe. It can be what we call a C curve, and then there's an S type curve. Typically, if somebody came into our program and just were being evaluated for scoliosis, if it was a very mild curve or what we call just an asymmetry where we didn't feel like they needed x-rays, we would just follow them and kind of watch it as they grow. If it came to the point where their curve was in the 20s, say 25 up to 30 degrees, then we would see that their curve is progressing and we would recommend a brace program. Based on their chronological age and how much growth we think they have left, we would anticipate how long they would be in a brace. Patients here use the Boston Brace, which was developed here by Dr. John Hall and Bill Miller, who started NOPCO, our brace shop. Now lots of people around the world use it, and we found that that's kind of the most successful brace that we've used. Each brace is made individually. You can't just take one off the shelf and put it on somebody. They're definitely you know, made to order. There's padding that's put into this brace specifically to where their curve is, and it holds them straighter. So the objective is, as they're wearing this brace, their spine is straighter, so as they grow, their curve will not grow more, but kind of remain where it is. We'll go over all the instructions on how to wear it, how to put it on, how to take care of your skin, how to wean into it, kind of answer any questions they have, and then send them off to get used to wearing it. They wear it for about 18 hours a day, and if they wear it to school and sleep in it, they can have after school until after dinner to kind of be out of it and do their activities, their sports, their dance. We encourage the kids to be as active as they can. The more they kind of just make it a regular part of their routine, the less cumbersome it will be. It's just something you gotta do. You get up, you get dressed, you brush your teeth, you put your brace on and forget about it. Depending on the exact nature of each patient's problem, whether it's a severe curve, a moderate curve, somebody who doesn't have a lot of growth left, somebody who, who is very immature and has lots of growth left, will depend on basically how long they wear the brace. Everybody's a little bit different. It's really based on your age, you know, your curve, even your emotional level too. Every time they come in, we measure their height to see if they're continuing to grow. And if we see that we, they haven't grown in the last six months, their bone age looks like all their bones are fused in their hands so they don't have any growth left and they've had their period for more than two years, we can kind of pretty much be sure that they're done growing. And then some doctors just kind of either stop the brace or they kind of wean them out of it. There's lots of emotions going on. They're at an age where fashion and friends and all that is very important. They play sports or they dance or they um, have lots of other things in their lives. We're ready to deal with those emotional pieces the first couple of visits because those are the hardest. And I think each doctor is very in tune to being aware of their emotional level. So that's what makes it a successful program. If they trust you and they buy into it and they realize what the outcome will be, then it's usually a success story.